Hey guys, what's going on? So today is the day we get 6th Serenade. We will also be getting Night Moonbeam uh, because we need to spend approximately 6,000, maybe a little bit less, to get the next quest in the Homo Thief stuff. And we can do that in Land of Wishes. This may very well be the best way to spend your crystals, especially if you're a new player. A selectable S rank. It is only Night Moonbeam, Lightning Empress, or Dimensional Breaker. Night Moonbeam is the one I'm going for because I have Dimensional Breaker and I just think Moonbeam is in, is more useful in more cases than Lightning Impress. Although Lightning Impress would help my Judah a lot. I've always wanted Night Moonbeam ever since I started playing. I never got her, never pulled her anywhere, so we're definitely going for her. I'm like 95% sure I will need to use all 6,000 if that is like the actual way it is or if this is just has a very low chance. I've seen my girlfriend do it twice, one on her main account and one on her little account. And she needed all 6,000 once and then like, and she's halfway through with the second one after spending 3,000 and so, I will assume I have to spend all 6,000 but that is actually okay because then, you know, we, we get six there and eight as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and start. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna skip most of this because Firstly, I don't think we're going to get it before the 6,000, and secondly, there's nothing super interesting you can get from here, besides, of course, after you spend the 6,000. So, let's just go ahead and pass that, doing the next 600 here. Not even a purple one this time. Yeah, I mean, time structures are always cool. Two isn't really a lot, but, you know, whatever. I'm just doing it for the moonbeam. Alright, halfway done now. Got the 50 done, so let's keep going. Alright, 40 more to do. Most likely. A few more time structures. Cool, cool. All right, just 1,200 more crystals to spend, and we got our moonbeam. All right, here we go. I'm pretty excited. So I guess, I think it'll either be in this one, or I'll just, like, get it afterwards. Wait. Huh? No. Huh? No. Huh? No. Oh, that was probably it, the one I just skipped. Huh? No. Yeah, it was the one I skipped, of course. Okay, uh, cool. Let's go ahead and unlock her. Once you leave the screen, you will no longer be able to return. Oh, it left me automatically. Thanks, just like all my friends. All right, here we go. Nothing much to do but just to select her, I guess. Kaboom. And, uh, she is ours. Nice. So, we got Night Moonbeam. Now, it's time to go get Sixth Serenade. I mean, we are still missing these 30, which we're going to try and get before those 13 days are up. But, um, we can unlock her right now. What? Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. One sec. Just got to do a bing bong boom and a blimp blop bling. Here we go. I'm not going to try and pull for her later. I'll just slowly farm her. So, uh, I'm not going to save my fragments. You know, don't want to. Okay, but, dude, we can put on the Tranquil Arius. Nice. Unfortunately, the stigma are going to be a bit of a different story. Don't got a lot of good ones, but I did raise. Uh, we are we are in B. We need to go to T because this is the main one here. Fuxi T. Attacks against frozen enemies, 90% elemental damage. I have a plan for this, uh, but actually besides that, I am not too sure. I mean, first things first, we gotta raise all these skills. Thankfully, she's the awakened version of Divine Prayer, which I have at triple S and I'm consistently raising, so I don't have to spend all that much. I mean, of course, her triple S stuff that aren't necessarily attached to it ain't, it isn't gonna work like that. Oh yes, SP. We have been saving a lot of SP from our other Valks we got, so we have like 600 here. We're gonna grab 200 or 300 because we also want to raise Night Moonbeam and she's gonna require a lot by herself since she is not the awakened version of anyone. Let's just max everything out. So her QTE is triggered by Shield Break. That's pretty interesting. Got her ultimate here as well. We gotta spin some skill points in. I'm so glad they added this quick level up. Unfortunately, we are missing some of those. Wow, well, there's no way I'm spending five of those tokens. Probably we're gonna get the rest of the Moonbeams. Or we could start working on Lightning Impress. I haven't really decided yet. Could also get them from here, but that's quite expensive as well. So I don't know. Like those red things I need for my uh, sixth serenade. I do want to get her up to double us eventually. Well, I mean, we can get it most of the way as long as we're not just doing quick level up. You know, it's that's two levels we're missing, I guess. It's not that big of a deal. We can wait. I think besides that, everything else is upgraded here. So she's ready to rumble. Oh, well, she needs some more Stigmata. Oh, well, we have Shakespeare B. That's ice damage. I assume that would be pretty good on her. I want to actually raise that if possible. 
it is possible, but not fully max because we are running out of these super alloy shields. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could get a few from the co-op shop. Yeah, like, eh, I was trying to upgrade those gauntlets or the gloves or whatever. We bought two more than necessary, but hell, we'll need them anyway. Who cares? All right, now we're looking at 51 ice damage, but we need to change the affix skill as well. If only she used great swords. Ooh! All right, Gaunt oh no, she doesn't use gauntlets either, damn. All right, well, it's not perfect, but hey, more attack is always cool, and this is almost 30 compared to that 20 because Greatsword doesn't do anything. So we'll keep that one for now. I kind of want to try her out. Oh, we could actually do Tesla M as well. All right, cool. Uh, Blade Strike, yeah, who cares? So this is gonna be some crazy damage. So my plan is to go into Abyss and take Valkyrie Ranger, Snowy Sniper, and her, starting with Valkyrie Ranger with Artemis Guardian, getting them all together, knocking one up to activate Snowy Sniper's QTE, freezing them all, and then switching out to Six Serenade and just spamming them with whatever I got on hand. They should be frozen. It'd be of course much better if I could get Snowy Sniper's uh, SP up first. I guess I could give her something like this. Then I could just like quickly trigger it and switch to Six Serenade. Cause I guess in this case, she's really just gonna be kind of a you know, ultimate. So let's go check out Abyss real quick. Yes, we are only in agony. Yes, it's only 66,000 Celsius. Yes, we're at floor one. This is just to play around. I'm not trying to say anything. Oh yeah, and we're in gluttony. Uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, so this team might not be like really good for this because there aren't really much, there's not gonna be much floating going on. I think for floor one, I just kind of want to play with her, you know. Of course, two of our stigmata are completely useless while not actually doing the uh, combo. But I mean, I guess until Snowy Sniper can actually get her SP up. Oops, I actually shouldn't switch out to her until she has <laughs> enough SP for the ultimate. All right, but now we have enough SP to actually try it. I mean, we could just like run around in the abyss until all the enemies sort of spawn. It just kind of takes a while. I'm not sure if it wouldn't be faster just to kind of do this a few times. I don't know how many waves there are. I never paid attention to that. I'm, I'm just gonna wait until the third wave shows up and then we're gonna try, even though I can't imagine there's gonna be a ton more enemies than there are currently anyway. Uh, okay, and I think that might be the boss there. All right, well, uh, let's try and gather them together. There they go, let's do this. Get Snowy Sniper's QTE, Snowy Sniper's ultimate. We can do the thing ju just because, and then we can do her ultimate as well, just, ju just for fun. Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I know I'm not in a very hard abyss, but that was excellent and awesome feeling. Like, I kind of thought I would have to fight a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have done the ultimate because I could have actually saw things a little bit more. But that was pretty damn nice, I gotta say. Running around in circles is kind of boring because you have to do it for like two entire minutes. So I think this time maybe we're just gonna go straight to, uh, we're just gonna try and do one wave after the other and uh, see how it works like that. So we're just gonna try and get a attack on us. That works. Lift someone up, hopefully that works. Do the nightmare thing just because, switch out to her. And what, where are you going? Oh, they all died. Okay, that was excellent as well. Okay, yeah, I think, see, Snowy Sniper doesn't have any SP anymore because of that stupid, I might want to switch that out because, yeah. Well, I mean, we can get the SP here. I think Snowy Sniper would have enough at this point now. I kind of at least want to wait for the boss though, or not. Let's give it a try. Snowy Sniper ultimate. Go, 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 go. There we go, oh yeah. Okay, now we have the boss. We're gonna miss the, the floor skip time, I guess. Maybe if we do the ultimate, hurry up. No, we are too late. But yeah, even as a standalone, I mean, she really only does the big damage with that combo because they're frozen and she gets like, I don't know, 150% damage against frozen enemies with those stigmata. But yeah, that was pretty cool. I don't know if it'll work against the bosses on the, the certain floors, but I have Judah for that, so <laughs> it's fine. Super happy to get her and Night Moonbeam. Oh, speaking of Night Moonbeam, I should at least use those skill points. Well, I've heard Night Moonbeam can actually also use Tranquil Arius. So I don't have to feel super bad about salvaging my 
energy leapers, even though I do kind of still feel bad about that. But uh, let's go ahead and start with leveling her up. Hopefully that will be enough. Just use 50 of the biggest creature chips. And that wasn't. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go a little bit lower. Yeah, let's just go to the beginning of 76. And let's see how many skill points we need. 71 for that one, 28, 50, and we're out of skill points with one tree. Just got 100 more. We might actually need like all, I mean, whatever. I, I, I'm sick of seeing that thing above my name all the time anyway, this red exclamation point. And we still don't have enough. Um, I guess the basic attack isn't like super important since she's mostly gonna be for QTEs, I guess, and her evasions. I'll get more skill points later. I guess that will pretty much do it. Nothing much else to say. Super happy about getting Night Moonbeam and especially Six Serenade because I <laughs> got her we weapon before her. But yeah, tell me what you think. You can also tell me what you think about that weird Abyss team. It's actually not weird, probably. It was recommended by one of my Armada friends. And while I haven't tested it so much, just the small testing I did, I think that can do some big stuff even up in the higher floors, considering everything just instantly died. It still had a lot of freeze time left, so I could have done a lot more damage. But yeah, looking forward to getting more into that a little bit later. And, uh, but yeah, make sure to comment what you think in the comments down below. Leave me a like if you did, I'm doing joys. Always greatly appreciate it as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.